Could extra long trucks soon be dotting North Dakota roads? Technically, they're called road trains. And KX News reporter Robert Sir has more on how they could impact your ride. He's bound and down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? They say road trains can't be done in America, but North Dakota is trying to change that. They're just like normal tractor trailers, just bigger, a whole lot bigger. Used only in the wide open Australian outback, road trains can span close to 200 feet long and weigh close to half a million pounds. But like the outback, North Dakota too has long stretches of straight and lightly traveled roads. That's why Senator and former truck driver Larry Lewick, along with the Agriculture and Transportation Committee, is looking at a road train pilot program. And Lewick says you really won't be able to tell much of a difference out on the road. It's going to be no different than meeting one of those triple axle uh, freight uh, haulers uh, that you already see on the road, except that they're going to be safer than those are. And if they are another 20 or 50 feet longer than that, uh, I don't know as if it's going to make that much difference. He says safety advancements among big rigs have improved drastically in the last 40 years, especially in braking technology. If passed and signed by the governor, the pilot program would include no moving of hazardous materials like oil. Lewick is hoping to get Minnesota and South Dakota on board as well as to create a regional pilot program. South Dakota already allows tandem full-length trailers, but those trucks don't enter North Dakota because it's not practical. When they were hauling wheat to a flour mill here in Fairmount, they would have to unhook the second trailer just to come into North Dakota eight miles. Then they'd have to go back and unhook their first trailer, hook onto the second trailer and take that in to dump it. Now, if approved by the state and eventually the feds, road trains would then gain access to any of North Dakota's tens of thousands of miles of roads roads like Interstate 94 here behind me. But ultimately, many of those roads are controlled by the DOT. So what do they think of the road train pilot program? We've got concerns that the infrastructure is not not built up for road train system would come in. And, that, and obviously, like I said, it, it depends on the roadway type and which tier roadway it is. But there are concerns of ours that this will be put in place before infrastructure is needed, uh, is built up before. It's still early and plenty can change between now and when the session starts in January, a session that could give the road train pilot program a big 10-4. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, I'm Robert Sir. The Agriculture and Transportation Committee is expected to continue the road train discussion at its next meeting on October 8th. Stay tuned.